Hold up. No, you cannot use my shower. Just hold up. The last time you left it looking like you'd skinned a fucking Sasquatch in there. What? If you cut me, do I not bleed? Oh. I'm tired. What? Well, you're looking a little... What is that? It's clay. I was making a point. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the look that uh, you want to be going for. What do you want? You got any capers? Capers? Yeah. What on earth do you want capers for? Well, uh, Sage says we need them for the squirrel. Sage? Oh, my God. It's a pheromone thing. It just draws them like flies. Sorry, dude. Please don't call me dude. I get it. You're hopelessly lost in this babeless wasteland, okay? No, I don't have any capers. I've never had any capers. I don't know what a caper is. I actually feel sorry for people who keep capers. They just sit there in the doors of their stainless fucking steel refrigerators yeah, for well. years. They don't eat them. They're never going to eat them. They just sit there forever. Sad reminders of their meaningless lives. It's the, the, the hormones, right? Excuse me. Here, hold that. Man. What? I think I got a date. Tomorrow. A date? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Dude, that's weird. Oh, well, you a bug. I'm just kidding. Who's it with? A woman in my class. Is she hot? I, I think she is, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I mean, like, in the real world sense of that word. Oh, okay. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm just messing with you. I hope it works out. Well, it's, it's just lunch, but... Man, you gotta embrace the possibilities. You should see what uh, me and Sage just did for lunch, and yeah. all she did was ask me for directions. Oh, man. Well, speaking of which, I better get back. If you leave them alone too long, they start getting restless. Right. Oh, good luck with your date, dude! Sorry I'm late. Traffic, you know. No, no, it's okay. I just got here myself. My husband wanted to come, but he got called out of town on business. Ah, uh, yeah. Too bad. This is better. So, what's to eat? I didn't have capers. Did you get capers? They're supposed to be capers. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Excuse me, miss. What? Capers. What about them? They're undermining the very fabric of society. Capers? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. That's an odd thing to say. Trust me, I've seen what they can do. I like capers. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, so what's on your mind? What, no more chit chat? Well, I'm, I happen to be of the considered opinion that life is way too short. So... I don't know, I just thought that maybe we could be friends or something. Or something? Yeah, or something. Let me ask you something. How much do you know about me? Well, not all that much, I suppose. Just that I find you interesting. Okay, let me let me yes, ask it a different way. I do know about your previous incarnation. Uh, okay, and you do you find that interesting? Yeah. Oh, not just that. You have this charmingly troubled effervescence about you. Geez, you think I would have heard that one before? <laughs> You're kind of like a self-made mythical creature. 
You don't get out much, do you? Actually, no. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, can I be perfectly honest with you here? Well, I wish you would. You're a very attractive woman. A very attractive married woman. I am married. And I have some experience with that. Some rather unfortunate experience. Like, say, Poland had an unfortunate experience with the Blitzkrieg. <laughs> okay. So, are you catching my drift? Oh, are we drifting? I thought you were going for complete honesty. You know, the hard stuff. All right, all right. So, at the risk of appearing utterly foolish. No, no, this is, this is crazy. Forget I said anything. Forget I brought it up. Let, let's just talk, okay? <laughs> uh, I, I take you for a cat person, am I right? Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you the person who said, be bold. Be bold, she said, and mighty forces will come to your aid. Aren't you the one that said that? It, it sounds like something I would say. So what happened to that? Well, first of all, I probably didn't expect anyone to take me seriously. <laughs> and second of all, there's bold and then there's suicidal. I've been known to confuse the two. <sighs> Don't be silly. What could be so serious? We're just talking. All right, let's say that there's even a remote possibility that you find me even modestly attractive. Let's just say, just tossing it out there. Okay. And, and I say remote because chances are that being married, you know, that you're heterosexually oriented, which means you're attracted to men, naturally, and all that that implies. And, you know, even if you're a lesbian, you're not a lesbian, are you? No, I'm not. Even if you're a lesbian, it's highly unlikely that you'll be able to get past my lingering dudeness. So when I say remote, it's not without some objective consideration. I mean, I'm not totally delusional. So if that's what you're thinking. Got it. Remotely delusional. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> no, I mean, wait, what? Go on. OK. So. If that's what you're thinking, that you find you might find me you know, remotely, modestly attractive. And, I, and I'm not suggesting that any such thought could possibly have crossed your mind. But if it has, I should probably just get up and walk right out that door, right this minute. But because I happen to suffer from an almost pathological strain of optimism, I really can't do that. And I won't. You probably find this to be totally weird and awkward, which you probably do. Which means I probably should have just kept all of this totally to myself. Because the last thing I want to do is sit here and make another fucking fool of myself. But at the same time, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, well, not entirely to myself, obviously, <laughs> that I may have just blown whatever slim chance I may have had with you. Which is probably a good thing in the long run, because with you being married and all, I mean, I'd be totally insane to get involved with you because, you know, you never know where, where it might lead. I mean, it could, be, it could have been great. We could have been great together. But in the end, you'd probably just break my heart, which might not have been that bad. It might, it might have been worth it, you know, now that I think about it. But seriously, what are the chances? <laughs> have you always been like this? only since cultivating breasts. <laughs> so, well, what do, you, what do you think? You're right, I guess. I'm right? Yeah, I guess. Are, are you sure? Because this, uh, this is probably a bad idea. I just thought that maybe, <laughs> I, I don't know what I thought. I, it's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. No, um, I have to go. I'm so sorry. Um, my husband and I are having some people over tonight. What? I thought you said your husband was... I'll see was you, okay? Good call. Thank you. Excellent. First date. I don't sleep with my husband. I don't sleep with him. I don't want to. I never did. Okay. 
That's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Can I ask you something personal? Uh, personal? I, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of guarded. Uh, of course. Did you? Did I? Uh, crap, I, I, I don't know how to ask this question. Um, did you? I, what, did I? This is so embarrassing. Um, do you? Still have a penis? Yes. <laughs> exactly, that's it. How did you know? It's always about the penis. Well, uh, do you? It's, uh, it's not obvious. I'm not sure I know how to answer that. <laughs> uh, point taken. Uh, yes, I did, and no, I do not. Good. Good. I thought not. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost afraid to ask. I want to be held. I want you to hold me. Hold you? Yeah. Will you do that? Okay. You will? Sure, sure. Thank you. Uh, right now? <laughs> no, not right now. Uh, when? Tonight, maybe? Sure, sure. And, um, one more thing. I lied about my husband wanting to come and meet you. He doesn't know anything about you. I wasn't sure how it would be with the two of us, so I didn't want it to seem like, you know. No, it, it's good, it's good. I'm glad you lied. I don't, I don't suppose you lied about being married. No, but I lie about a lot of other things. I even lied about liking capers. No, <laughs> that's great. That's great. I like no. that. No, it, <laughs> no, it isn't. You don't understand. I said that I like them, but I don't. I don't like them at all. I've had them for years, but I, I, I can't bring myself to get rid of them. Because who would I be if I just threw them out? And what would I throw out next? What would I have left? So I tell myself that I like them, but I don't want to lie anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think so. Maybe you can help me with that? I can try. That's it. That's all I want is to be able to let go. You're gonna do it, aren't you? You're gonna break my heart. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> but not today. Okay? Here you go. What the hell are these? <laughs> 